can tell, but only one side of my face has foundation. The foundation that's on one side of my face <laughs> is this Bare Minerals. It is their new Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick that I got from Influencer for free to try for you guys. And I'm a little late in doing this little review, but I do like it. I've been using it. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm doing this vlog style, so I'm trying to do it with one hand. So I've used it several times and there's still a lot of foundation left. But what I do love about this foundation is one that is in stick form. I'm a mommy and sometimes I need to do my makeup really quick and just to be able to rub this all over my face and I'll show you guys how it goes on. It goes on so smooth like butter. It feels so good. But all I have to do, I'm not gonna like really blend everything yet, but all I have to do is put it on my face, get my little Real Techniques sponge and just blend it all in, but you can see how nicely it just glides on your face. So I'm gonna look crazy for the rest of this little talk. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that it goes on very naturally. It's very, um, while it's natural, it still does a lot of coverage. So as you saw before, I have some high, I should have waited to put that on my face, but I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So whenever I get a blemish, I do get spots afterwards and I just have to wait out. Um, them fading because that's just the way my skin is. I also have melasma here over my lip, but you can see a little bit of it there. I think it, I'm looking at the viewfinder, but uh, um, I sometimes feel like it looks like a mustache. It's just this darkness in my skin over my lip and this foundation covers it very well. I don't have anything else on, just the foundation blended in and my eyebrows are done and I got mascara on, but you know, nothing else on my face. I do really like this. I used to use Bare Minerals all the time back in the day. I stopped using their powder foundations because I found that it made my skin really itchy for some reason, which is crazy because it's hypoallergenic, but my skin just did not like it. After a while, I don't know if they changed something in the formula because when I first started using them, they didn't do that, but I don't get that issue with this cream foundation stick, which is very nice because I do really, really like it. This is the color Dune 7.5 that I have on. It might not focus because my camera's mean sometimes, but anyway, it's Dune 7.5. I could probably go a shade lighter but when I was choosing the color for my Vox box, um, you know, it's kind of hard to tell on the screen when, with the little swatches that they give you. But I tried to pick what was closest and I was very close to the color, but it's just slightly too light, but not light enough to where I wouldn't wear it. It doesn't look weird on my skin, but you can definitely tell the difference. This side looks airbrushed, <laughs> whereas this side you can see it's definitely my real skin. You can see my bags discoloration under my eye and it covers it really well. I'm sitting in front of my window. There's no filters, no anything. This is my real skin, even though this part's not blended. Um, and this is my real skin with the foundation on top. So I definitely give this two thumbs up. I will definitely be purchasing this once this one is gone. I'm definitely gonna get a, a, a shade just a slight shade darker because I like to make my foundation a little bit darker because I'm so pale in the face. I prefer for it to match my skin and my neck. So uh, I'll get one that, that does that so I don't look so pale and so different from the rest of my body. You can see how much darker I am everywhere else than I am on my face. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and put it on the rest of my face. Blend everything out so you can see how it looks, so you can see the difference as well. You saw the discoloration in my eye area and the melasma over my lip, and now you can see how well this foundation covers that. I just, I really love it. I can't wait to get um, the new one once I use this one up so I can really see with that darker shade that I'm going to try to find. But um, yeah, so this is how 
it comes out definitely a must try especially if you're on the go that's great to just keep in your purse along with your sponge I know real techniques has the I just bought the my new um, sponge because my other one was starting to get gross but now that you can get them with the little carry case which is awesome so it doesn't get all dirty in your bag so I bring that and the foundation stick with me on the go so if I need to touch up anything because Adiana my daughter loves to put her hands all over my face and then <laughs> you can totally see where my makeup has rubbed off or if I'm holding her and she's wearing a hair bow it's inevitable that my makeup's going to get on it so it's a great thing to have on the go it's so lightweight <clears throat> it's not a little glass bottle because I mean while they're small bottles they do make your purse heavier so this isn't a metal container and it's just easy to bring along with you but uh, anyway to wrap it up like I said I give it two thumbs up I really really like it bare minerals hit it again love that it's cruelty free that's actually one of my most favorite parts about it and uh, definitely have a customer in me again <laughs> for this foundation um, that's all I have to say about it for now I hope you guys will go try it as well as many other cruelty free makeup brands because you know there's no reason for animals to be tortured just so we can look pretty there's so many more alternatives um, and there is a shift in the industry right now towards all cruelty free so I'll be happy when that definitely uh, is a thing <laughs> but anyway hope you guys have a beautiful day I hope you enjoyed this review let me know down below if you're gonna give it a shot and I will talk to you guys later.